Hi everyone, it's Brenda here. Just took a little break from cleaning my office today um, to show you a book that I'm reading at the moment. Um, I really, really recommend this. It's called The Highly Sensitive Person or the HSP. It's by Elaine Aaron um, and you will be able to get it online. I think I got this one secondhand on Amazon. Anyway, <clears throat> for those of you who suspect or think that you have yourself or a child who is highly sensitive, and when I say highly sensitive, I don't just mean uh, being too sensitive in your emotions for your own good, as people um, will often describe the person, but the person might also be highly sensitive in their smell, in their touch. They might not like certain clothing, and they might not like tags on the clothing, having hair brushed. Um, they might not lo like hugs and um, they might be sensitive to, to touch in that way also and also be sensitive to light where a really bright day or fluorescent lights might give the person a headache or the child um, and also a child who covers their ears a lot might be very sensitive to sound or complain that a, a, the noise of something is causing pain to their ears. So. It's not just emotions, folks, when somebody's described as highly sensitive. But anyway, this lady, um, Erlaine Aaron, she says that 20% of the world's population are actually highly sensitive. Um, some are highly sensitive to the point of it being disruptive to their ability to learn and ability to function in everyday life. And they are kids and people that we deal with or that I deal with um, when I'm running my brain cam training. Um, so I really recommend this because the 80% of the people out there who are not highly sensitive uh, struggle to understand why the 20% who are, are very sensitive surely in their emotions, are very, very sensitive to too much light, smell, touch. And in fact, if they have a headache or if they feel pain, they feel it 10, 20, 30, 40 times more than people who are not highly sensitive. It's really, really understand for that on really hard for that 20%, 80% to understand the 20% who are this way. Um, not being able to manage your um, intense hypersensitivities can make you very, very prone to becoming easily overloaded because the volume button in your brain for senses is turned up too high all the time and you become overloaded very quickly. And children who are very hypersensitive in school become overloaded very quickly. OK, so this is a really good read for anybody who thinks that you are. There's a little um, uh, I think there's a little um checklist in the front of this book that you can fill out i can't find it at the moment but it is there and it'll tell you if you are indeed one of the 20 percent population hsps um, and if you are maybe your child is and maybe that's why they are struggling okay so just to say as well that uh, brain cam our last training for this year 2019 is in cork on the 9th of november saturday the 9th of november it's four hours it's for parents snas special ed teachers who want to bring children through this uh, brilliant life changing uh, program 15 minutes a day um SETs can use elements of it parents can use elements of it to settle a child down um but we're making sweeping changes in schools and homes right across the country um I've taught just over 5000 people the brain cam program so far so far so um particularly for this type of child or a child who's very fidgety movie squirmy child who's struggling to manage to self regulate themselves to manage their own behavior and um, brain cam is absolutely brilliant so two pieces of advice for you pop onto my website to learn more about Bra brain cam brendacasty.com and order elaine aaron's book called the highly sensitive person she also has a book called the highly sensitive child so that's today's words of wisdom hope you're having a good weekend